Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Animal Figure Hunter. And today we'll be looking at a set that just got released by Bandai called the uh, Peacock Spider set. So this set comes with five figures and they're all of the Peacock Spider. Now here's a look at the uh, Coastal Peacock Spider. And you can see here that it comes with uh, an abdomen that can fan out. So you can actually take this off like this. And they usually come already pre-assembled, like the legs are already slotted in. And this one comes separate. And all you have to do is plug it into the hole at the back and it goes up and down. And you can open up the abdomen like a fan like that. And these figures are very articulate. There's a lot of ball joints. So each leg has ball joints so it can bend, as you can see here. And even the front hands, they can uh, move back and forth. And look at that detail on the bottom. So it's got some paint there to make it look more realistic. And you can pose it almost any way you like. So you can make it higher, you can squish the legs in like this. So it can be high or you can push them down if you want it like this. So it's kind of like crouching. But either way, this is a, a very cool figure. Now peacock spiders, they're actually not this big in real life. They're actually very tiny, around uh, three to five millimeters. So that's kind of like, you know, the size of my fingernail. But these these guys are awesome. They're colorful. They're also um, part of the uh, jumping spider family. So they like to jump. And these guys are found in Australia. You know, that's the, uh, the country with all the uh, awesome but dangerous uh, animals. So these animals uh, also have venom, but they're not really poisonous to humans. Um, just usually uh, use their venom to get their prey. So this guy here is the coastal peacock spider and uh, there's four others in the set so let's take a look at the other ones. So the next one we have is called the lobe. Now these are the ones I'm showing you right now are the males all right so the males they have these um, fans at the back these colorful fans to attract the females. So this one is built the same way, just different color. It's got the fan that you can stick at the back here. All right. So this one is the male lobed peacock spider. The next one we have is the flying male peacock spider. So this one, I like these colors the most. It's got, you know, it's got a nice uh, design on its fan. Check out those colors. Look at the, the detail here. It's got some nice spots on the head. The eyes look really cool, look really deep and expressive. You know, you don't want to look too much uh, into these uh, spiders eyes. Otherwise they will make you uh, hypnotized and then they're gonna catch you and eat you just like a, a hobbit in Lord of the Rings all right so we've got three males here next is the flying peacock spider female now the females you can see their abdomen doesn't have a fan that comes out all right so it's just uh, just like a normal spider You can see it's got uh, the same ball joints as so all the spiders have the same uh, same kind of legs there. Except the paint schemes are different and this one doesn't have the fan. It's got the normal abdomen which you can, you can have it up high like this. That's how I like to pose it or you can pose it, you know, down. Well, that's the cool thing about these spiders is uh, all these ball joints you can pose them in in different ways. 
All right, and last we have the masked peacock spider, and this is also a male. Now they call this one the masked peacock spider because its abdomen doesn't have a fan like the other males, so it relies on its masked face to attract the female spiders. So that's why you see here it's got this nice shade of blue across its uh, front of its face, and it's got a nice color scheme on the back, as well as can see all the other males their hands are black but this guy's got a painted uh, black and white scheme kind of like zebra stripes here on the front so this is the masked female peacock spider all right so even if you don't like spiders, I know a lot of people are squeamish about spiders. I'm actually one of those people who are really freaked out about spiders. As I had a spider fall onto my face when I was sleeping one time and it scared the hell out of me. But um, I mean, you have to appreciate these figures just because they're so beautiful. Um, they're so nicely made. And I think uh, kids and adults will love to collect and display these. Um, they're all random though when you go to Japan from the machines, they're from the Gashwa machines, so you never know which one you'll get. Um, this one here is the, what you call the, um, the short printed or special one. So in the machine, this one is not uh, allocated as much as the other figures. So this is the hard one to get. So the masked female spider is, is the, the special one. Um, but I'd be happy with getting any of them because um, they're just so nice. And I'll put a link in the description where you can get them because they, they were only released in Japan. So they're actually really hard to get as after about a month um, they disappear from, from stores. And um, it's, uh, you know, with the lockdown and everything, it's, it's hard to get these figures. But I do have a couple of places where you can get them. So I'll put that in the link below. So... Yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, in the comments, let me know if you have any horror spider stories or what you think about these figures. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.